we have a, a fantastic as ever replacement for today that is also uh, a, a, an individual whose outfit is not only like unbelievably color coordinated but also represents a lot of our merch so <laughs> uh oh hey you've got some you've got some merch on you i think uh surely what happened <laughs> representative of much of our merch as in the fact that I have many items of merch upon my person. So surely um, I'm gonna know, ask, it looks like the pins arrived. They did. They arrived yesterday, like 30 minutes after I had to leave for work, which I was very upset about. Mm -hmm. But then I got to come home and, and, and see the boy. Uh, does ostension happen? Is that what you're telling me? I, I mean, ostension does happen. <laughs> Shout out to Christina's podcast, whose name escapes me because I am a bad mod. It's called, uh, it's called Crime Lore. Crime Lore. I knew, I, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm, I'm putting okay. on a blazer real quick. You're right. Shout out to Crime right. Lore. Well, I mean, I'm just, I, this isn't a blazer, it's a dress shirt. It is? Yeah! The fucking dress shirt, my dude. I only own a blue blazer, not a green blazer. What do you think I am, made yeah, of money? That looked like a blue blazer. What? That looked like a blue blazer. No, it's a gr it's green. It's green with polka dots. Oh, I see it closer. I see it closer. Oh, hey, let's go. Uh... I'm gonna change my light too. All right, I think we should get into some boyf dunge. Boyf dunge. Ayo. Ayo. Who got you smiling like that? Like that. All right, knocking gently or sharply? Uh, gently? Let's be nice. Hello? Nothing more. Oh. Oh, oh, of course. Gotta enter at that of point. Of course. Nothing more. Only this, nothing more. Chat, does it need to be louder? Nothing How more. is it? How you feeling, chat? Who's still there? Chad, who's still out there? Luoma, you still there? Sound off. The White Raven of the Citadel. Of course. You guy neighbor. Facts. How you doing? I feel like it's been a second, Luomi. I mean, I haven't seen you since, like, in person for years, but I feel like it's been a second since I've uh, spoken to you in chat. Uh... Oh, don't try your usual seduction tactics on me. <laughs> what? Are, what? Are, where are we going? Where are we uh, going? Which is dangerous. Aww. No, it's cool. Busy couple of weeks. It's cool. It's good. I guess. Yeah, we're getting paid. No, I, you you know him well. Who's getting paid? Uh, Luomi. Busy couple of weeks. Getting okay. paid. Sleeping good and long. Okay. Bones feeling dense. Oh, Luomi, mood. Thinks he's the Hierophant or, the, or Justice, but he's just a Knight of Swords. Nothing more. Alright. Oh, no. Oh, shit. It's Eric. Oh, and that pun. That pun. Cancel him for that pun. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dearie, dear. Uh, surely. Let Rowan answer. Okay. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh. I, I can't believe we named our character Dream Daddy. I know it's beautiful. I harvested the leaves this morning. Well, Wait, okay. Uh-oh. Not all blades are people, right? <laughs> I hope not. Okay, it's a replica. It's not a replica. Ooh, my Boudica! Do you know... Shirley, do you know this? My favorite 
uh, one of my favorite Tumblr posts about like the ideal first date. No. Uh, you just let a let a woman eat uh, a, a rack of ribs in front of you, and if she finishes it, she is your Boudicca, and you will burn down garrisons for her. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Oh, my Boudicca. Yeah, I want that. Uh, uh, Crowley the bird is super fun. <laughs> And I don't know if this is canon. I don't know if we figured this out, but I feel like Rowan and Crowley like do the DBZ fusion dance when they become the scythe. Yeah. Oh my god, Eric. What are we saying? Uh, what are we saying? How do you know? How do you know? Oh, boo. Oh my god, that is- the scythe looks like you. Interesting. Wait, are they like dead bodies? I don't think so. I know that's what you're asking. Again, I've never done Rowan's quest in this game. Oh. Oh hey, birds are cooler than you, Eric. Oh my goodness. Are pi pigeons? I thought it was turtle doves or the romantic bird. They're they're really not. I've worked at a bird museum. I get this. Okay, get it. Oh, look at that. Oh, I want to punch that face. Uh, let's just sip the tea. Let's let, let's let Rowan deal with this. Whoa, let's go. Let's go. Uh-oh. Get out of here. Yes, he's a he's profane. Ew. Okay, what is the sickle? That's what you want to know, right, Cheryl? Yes. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Aw. Okay. Ayo. Will we pick it between dread or finale? Finale, gravity wells explode. Gravity wells do damage over time. I think I, I think I'm doing damage over time. I think that's how okay. I play Rowan. I think that's how I play Rowan. You spoke up and oh, thank you. I like you, Rowan. Do we have a gift for Rowan? Do we have a gift for Rowan? Blue lipstick. Why do I feel like the rose would be perfect? Yeah, a powerful symbol. Yeah, we're going right to the duns, yeah. right? Or, or, uh, Shirley, you uh, know what I think. You know what I think. Seeing. Let's just do I like that. Oh, boy. Good day, then. Oh, my gosh. Let's go Your to Your Honor, the guns. I love them. I love them so much, too. I love them so much. I have an unhealthy residence. I would avoid him. I'm trying. I'm trying. Yeah. And yet his orbit grows tighter. Big. Take, uh, I love... Your Honor, they're so cool. There we go, there we go, there we go. I'm remembering how this character works. There you go. Get those gravity you wells. Got em. Get the gravity well going. Slice away. There you go. Scorpion phones, yeah, it's uh. It, it, oh, yeah. Old shit is scary. That's why we have to go to the mall and confront our fear of change. So meta. Oh, uh, that is this you being meta? <laughs> Did you have a, a oh, Nokia man. Scorpion phone, little homie? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Are they gonna like it here? Oh, video games are too loud and bright. See, I knew it! <laughs> we could make one. Yeah, let's do it. At least 20 minutes. What is it? Is it like the... Oh, it's Polybius! Oh my god, do you know about this? No. This is that urban legend about the machine that if you play it, you get abducted the next day. Huh. Oh my god, okay. it's Polybius! Interesting. Oh, good. There's hope for video games after all. 
Uh, we got anything? No, Not we're about sure. to we're about to level up love by the end of this. Serious matters. Beauty. Beauty and grace. Ugh. Luomi, what were the question marks about? Did I did I sufficiently answer whatever it was? Possibly the the cursed game. That's what I'm going. Yeah, to there's see. a great um yeah. uh uh or Oregon Public Radio. Yeah, there's a great Oregon Public Radio podcast they did about Polybius, where they ended up like interviewing, like someone like with a memorate of like surviving polybius but yeah it's a it's a it's a it's a old school video game folklore yeah the arcade machine that gets you like stranger danger after you play it like ian brody said a couple weeks ago like these legends if they're not true someone felt so like true or not someone felt so strongly about a topic that they had to find a way to express it to you hmm I, I just... Uh, Ian Brody gave some great answers. Hey, Shirley, who's that? Who's what? In chat. Oh, shoot! <laughs> <laughs> That's my little brother. Is this your... What did you say? My my, my baby brother's grown up now? Yes. My, my time... I'm good. It's time for me to embarrass my brother on stream. Oh, no! Um, this is my... This is my tiny infant baby brother who just turned 20. Uh, That's week. what it was. That's what it was. <laughs> hey, happy belated. Yes, happy birthday to Donnie. It is, it is beautiful. Our favorite, like, Welsh pagan MV, uh, NB Scythe. Yes. I don't know if there's anyone else like that in all of gaming. Who knows? Who knows? That actually reminds me. Yeah. I, I feel the need to make a public apology. Oh, God, yes. Go for it. I don't know why, but yes. <laughs> we're, we're owed one by now, apparently. <laughs> so, I am... I am... I finally got to watch the highlight reel from when we first played this. Okay. And I realized... That I misgendered Rowan about five times. I think before. No, I mean like I don't know. A before the game, it was before. Before a couple the game, times misgendered. Before I realized. Yeah, before the game, it was explicit about it, right? Yeah, and then but then I did it a few times after that. And I, I'm like, oh man. I think at that point I kept trying to correct you, but. You corrected me the first couple times, yeah, and I was sort of like, what? And then it was like, oh, oh. Yeah. Um. So that was fun. And so I just wanted to actually apologize. Look, we got and some. Then, it's not all about the he, him swords and the she, her daggers. There's also the they, them scythes. Yeah, there's also the they, them scythes. Yeah. And honestly, that is. Oh, it's a. It, it transformed into a butterfly because of change. I okay, think it's a moth because scary. Um. Yeah, Rowan. Rowan's non-binary, and uh, Eric. Eric said, "My dear NB," and. Uh, Eric, Eric might yeah. be uh, an, a, like an asshole and like a Reddit nice guy, but yeah. at least he got one I, thing right. Yeah. If the stalker jerk face can correctly gender Rowan, then I need to up my game. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Which God. then, it also, me realizing this and thinking about it, also kind of got me spiraling on the thought topic of how in broader culture, like, there is a certain amount of people considering like non-binary as just sort of spicy female oh yeah sure because you see a lot of more i mean i guess in, in a general sense sometimes you'll see a little bit more how do i put this you see more people who read as uh an assigned female at birth being non-binary 
than necessarily assign male at birth. And that might just be like a, I don't know, sampling bias pop culture at the moment thing or whatever, you know? Yeah. I mean, I also, like, yes. I mean, I, there are definitely, you know, non-binary assigned male at birth. And there's also definitely, like, you don't need to be androgynous yes. to be non-binary per se. Yeah, big mood, um, big mood. But there's, I, I also, it's an interesting thing to think about. Because it's something I've thought about in general for a while. Because mm -hmm. in a sense, if you grow up in a society with like gender roles and gender stereotypes that are already stacked against you, it's a little easier to come to the realization that you don't fit into that at all than if you grow up where it, it stacked a little bit more towards you. Yeah, I oh, could yes. Assume. Yeah, I, I'd say there's a, so, there's a crux to be found here, yes. Yes. So I can see why more assigned female at birth individuals might be... Have already had a harder time of it, yeah. Yeah, have already kind of come found that conclusion easier. God, I'm so close to, close to beating this fucking moth. Keep, yeah. your good luck, keep talking. Yeah, I, I see it coming to that conclusion earlier and easier when you've already been like disillusioned with gender yeah! roles in society. Yes! Got, oh, I've got so little hope! <laughs> um, versus, you know, when <laughs> you're not as disillusioned, per se, perhaps. Surely, talking about, uh, <laughs> talking about AFAB non-binary people conquered my fear of change. That's beautiful. Yeah. Also, Donnie I'm says glad. it's weird because uh, Donnie can hear you, and then you're also like you're in the other room and you're on Twitch. So yeah, we are we are currently sharing a wall. So I'm sure this is. <laughs> um. Hey, speaking of uh, uh non-binary weapons. Yes. Let's pick up this glave. Let's pull, let's pull up. Mm. Here we go. Ella. This is the character I say Daisy is. Uh, I can see that, yeah. Just also personality-wise. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm a little long. I don't mean to be awkward to wield. Okay, long bean. Okay. Okay, long bean. Do do we all find? Your uh yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah, you'll be fine. Do we find what? Uh, do we find all of our compatriots in the dungeon? Basically, yeah. Okay. We didn't find Rowan in a dungeon, but yes. That is true. I think Rowan might be the only one. Okay. Yeah, buy me lunch later, Is Sawyer. It... Let's go. So, like, this also happened when we found Seven. I, my first thought was, how long have you been here? Is there a time skip thing going on? Mm -hmm. But actually, it seems more like, did their wielder die? And they were just left dormant in weapon form? I, I think I can, stumbled I, upon them? I think I can tell you the important thing is everyone has been damaged. Oh fuck! Yeah. Oh no! Oh, uh, I love this. is my favorite. So the next dungeon oh, is in Sunder's Club, but I just this is my favorite text in the whole game. Weird vibes from my basement. Getting weird vibes. Basement's haunted. Cox gun. I said basement's haunted. <laughs> yeah. Oh look! Oh, it's a cat. Is it? Is it kitty cat? Might be. The cat, cat, cat. It might be. You've already met this cat, actually. I I briefly read about the cat in an article. The cat the cat had a uh, encounter with Valeria once. Oh, fun. Yeah. <laughs> no need for violence. <laughs> Words have power. Todd. Uh, what are we going to say? How do you handle the forces that hunt you? I can handle any attack. I don't know. Yeah. I love their choker. I can handle any attack. Oh. Right? Oh. 
Oh, that's true. Their grandma just died. The digital remains. <laughs> you just won <laughs> <laughs> this bird got an insta. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. On the line. Yeah, they've totally got a fucking Nokia flip phone. They've I, got a Sony Ericsson. They've I got was, a 2008 how, Sony Ericsson. I love how they. I was able to successfully read Rowan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very proud of you. I mean, Rowan is also somehow me sophomore in high school oh my so God. like dom uh, for at least three years of my high school um career i carried around a poe lunchbox oh my so... god um this is probably the most important detail i've read in this game surely huh interesting one can do that i guess no i want to hear more about your 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 grandma, she sounded cool. Yeah. Oh, Rowan. Oh no. I often. Often we kill things. Exactly. Thank you, Rowan. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Do we have a gift? Do oh, we're no no we're full we're full we're full. Did we do it? <laughs> Shit, okay. Okay, I I I I guess I'm I guess I'm giving the game away that I reacted like hell yes that this would work on me IRL. But what do we say to this, Shirley? Dom, you've seen my phone. You don't know how I don't know how to react to this. Oh, we need to start. We need to start all in, uh, all or nothing. Okay. Um, <laughs> maybe I'm gonna say no. What? I mean, that's a different way. You want to come over? We may or may not explore sex as you wish. I'd love that. Aw, let's do a kiss. You little smooch. Ah. Uh, I like be oh Rowan, please quantify me. <laughs> I love my I love, love her Aww. 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 Ooh. Aww. 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 Show me a skill. Ooh, now this is going to be this is gonna be fucking crazy because we're gonna keep people in gravity holes and then like every time we get a kill it's gonna stack right -hoo -hoo. oh the gravity holes are gonna be fucking dangerous didn't sunder no wait yeah you mentioned that it's basically poly swords yeah sunder's not sunder sunder do you remember when sunder had sex with and or drank the blood of someone in the alley while we were on a date uh, what? I don't think I was there for that. Oh, that was during Jin. Okay. Yeah, I Sunder's not gonna take it personally if we're seen in public with another weapon. Okay. Well, yeah. what, not just seen in public, but like specifically going to his dungeon. No, it's not a date. It's it's work. This, I mean, I was Lumi. I was also dressed I'm... like him for that, so I felt honored. <laughs> that was that was that was uh, Jin's episode. I wonder what class of demons occupy this Alcohol. Mm. Look, we got the bird skulls. We got the bird skulls. Oh my god. Oh, Rowan. Their attacks do come out super slow. So, like, doing these, uh, this, these, like, light show enemies with Valeria is super easy because she's so, like, fast. Mm hmm. It's kind of takes some, like, precision with Rowan. Yeah. Sunder, Sunder's cool because, like, you just stack up damage so fast. <laughs> but, uh, Rowan almost feels like you're playing a control character. You know what I mean? Hmm. 
like you're putting them under hypnosis or something. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. Are you emotionally prepared for this? Am I emotionally prepared for this? Eh. Pocket. Pocket. No. Pocket. Wow. Pocket. 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 Put in lots of time and. Pocket! Uh, Pocket's a fun weapon. Pocket is, I mean, I would say that because Pocket plays exactly like the gloves from Hades. Okay. See, I got kind of like turned around. You can get like flanked super easily as Rowan. Mm -hmm. But you can also just, if, if, if you're like one-on-one -on -one with somebody with Rowan, you just stand there and chop. Basically, yeah. Uh... I love how you can hear Crawly, like the little ha, huh! when you like drop the gravity <laughs> well. Yeah. It is interesting that there's definitely, like it's, it's that they're a pair. Yes. And it's a pair transformation. DBC fusion dance, that's what I was saying. Yeah. I mean, yeah. We're, we're, we're main and go tank. We main go tanks in this, uh, go tanks in this game. Go tanks. Fusion. Fusion! Fusion! Ha! Huh. Did you watch a lot of DBZ? Did you watch Dragon Ball at all? I did not. All? I did not. Dragon Ball is kind of what I know instead of Shakespeare. <laughs> I know some Shakespeare, <laughs> but if we're talking about you like know. like big soliloquies and epic battle scenes and gener <laughs> like you know fathers and sons. I, I know yeah. what I know a lot of. I gotcha. I mean, all I want to do is see you turn into an awesome weapon. An awesome weapon! All I want to be is someone who gets to see an Wh awesome weapon. What is that? Are you doing Are you doing Lemus Muppets again? <laughs> oh my god, no! I'm doing, I'm doing Steven Universe. Ah, okay. Is this the, like the Steven, thing is I this know game, is this from. game like Steven Universe? No, but Fusion is. Oh, okay. Fusion's a major plot point for Steven Universe, so and that was a song used sung? That was a song the first time they talked about Fusion on the show. That was a song that was involved. Uh I don't know a lot about Steven Universe. I've seen one episode, but I I I, I kind of have context in that when Daisy got to like the big lore dump at the end of Fire Emblem Three Houses, they said, "So I've been Steven Universe this whole game, huh?" So I at least yeah. know like what that's in reaction to. See, Dom, the funny thing is, I feel like you would do an excellent like adult Steven cosplay, though. Uh, Dude Man in the chat is a cosplayer who does an adult Steven cosplay. Hey, Dude Man. He had to go, but he plays uh, a lot of Monster Prom. He does Beautiful. some. He does voice acting, and he, I guess, practices on a monster prom. I did a. I did a pearl cosplay at Dragon Con one time. Oh hell yeah! That was fun. I want to be. Pearl um, is. Pearl is excellent. If I cosplay Just, anyone from yeah. that show, I want to be Bruce Springsteen Universe. <laughs> What's his dad's name? Greg. Greg. He's yeah, Br you would also be a good Greg. He's Bruce Springsteen Universe. Bruce Springsteen Which universe. is also the name of my live journal. <laughs> uh, God, Steven Universe is such a good show. So back in July of 2015, okay. um, I had appendicitis. Uh, and this was shortly before my second semester of college. No, third. Was it? No. Yeah. No. Was it July? It was July. Anyway, um, I guess when that was spring. College. I was still at Nova, but okay. basically, the series of events. So, it was almost funnily terrible because it's when they had a stomach ache for three days. And yeah. Then finally, yeah. me and my mom were like, hey, maybe we should like call a doctor. 
And it wasn't quite classic symptoms of appendicitis, but it was just similar enough that my doctor suggested me go to the ER. So then I had to wait for my dad to come home so he could drive me, because mom wasn't driving at that point. And then the roads were really bumpy, and then we had to sit in the ER for like four hours. Um, but anyway, the first day that I started feeling kind of bad, one of my friends texted me asking if we want to if if if, uh, if we want to hang out. And I'm like, I'd love to. Let me see if my stomach actually settles. And then it never did. And then I was in the hospital for two days. Mm. Um, I mean, it was basically like emergency surgery and then like a recovery day. And then I went home and laid on the couch for a while. God, that, yeah. I laid on the couch. That leads into some other stories. But essentially, after I was like mostly recovered, we had a, a quick Shirley didn't die party. Cool! Uh, where, where some of my friends I'm came over. I'm happy you didn't die, Shirley. Yes! I'm also happy that. Um, Shirley didn't die party where some friends came over and I made them watch Steven Universe. Uh, that that was the point of that story. But also some fun Shirley lore to deal with. What episodes? What happened? Uh, the first ten. Oh, okay. I've heard the first season is like you have to get through it to get to the good stuff. It... I mean, you have to get through it before it becomes more serialized, but there's a lot of stuff in it. It's like, the first season reads as your standard Cartoon Network show that you don't necessarily have to pay attention to every episode sort of thing, and that it doesn't matter as much if it runs out of order. And then after that is a big, hey, actually, there's a whole last world out there, and things get serious a little. Interesting. And then that it... End of season one is definitely a shift into, and this is what the show is going to be now. Mm. And then everything just kind of starts building on each other more uh, noticeably. Because but because it's also like, it's very interesting actually how it, the show it in a way grows up with Steven. Yeah. Because when you're a kid, things just happen. You have fun, wacky adventures. And like there's hints at something deeper that an older audience might pick up on. But, you know, Steven doesn't necessarily. He just wants to, you know, be included and, you know, buy donuts and, you know, hang out with his friends. He doesn't, like, get all of the, you know, weird alien ancient war colonization stuff going on Oh, yet. interesting. Okay. And then, and it's not like, like, the show, it's like, the, the show doesn't, like, I mean, it maybe covers, I don't know, it's, it's weird timing, because he only has, like, one birthday during it, or at least one mentioned birthday during it. Um, so, in a sense, it's not that much of a time. There's definitely, like, a sense of maturity as it goes older, but it's also, like, a forced maturity. <laughs> because he is still incredibly key, like, the birthday he has, he turns, like, 15. <laughs> oh. Huh. Or maybe it's 14. I don't remember exactly. But, like, no older than... It might be actually 14, because I think he's 16 in the epilogue series, and it's oh, okay. definitely been a few years. But, you know... Um, but, like, young. Like, not even really high school age yet, or if, just barely. Sure. Um, but then he's also, you know, dealing with... I mean, not to... I mean, you've probably gotten some of it by osmosis, but... <laughs> Um, but he's dealing with, like, these very big, heavy concepts. And also just because of his past and, uh, like, you know, feeling like he has to carry his mom's legacy, but also has to sort of deal with her mistakes. Um, and it's just, it's not, it's like, you notice things, you learn things as you get older and you realize the depth of the world, but... It's also very much you have realized the depths of the world earlier than you might have been mentally prepared for due to traumatic events and an almost like needing to step up in a way. Yeah. Like like adultness is thrust upon you. And was that always Which like is... the, the direction the series wanted to go or did that kind of evolve as they found their audience? I mean, from what I've read, it seems like it was generally, this, like, some of the details kind of shifted into place as things went on. 
But I think, broadly speaking, you know, the, the base trajectory of things was the same. I know um, they lost a few seasons. Oh, um, interesting. And so, like, the final season feels a little scrunched. Um, but, you know, that, that, that was more you know, the, the constraints of... Network. Media. Yeah. Yeah. You know. The 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 yeah. Yeah. So it's interesting. I like it. Some of the fandom could be I mean it gets a bad rap because there was definitely predominantly Tumblr based fandom drama. Um but you know the show itself is good. Yeah. Um here, let's play pool with Rowan to get some health. Teach me. Ooh, ancient wisdom. Oh, yeah, hey. Trigonometry. Interesting. There we go. Okay. Oh, oh I was hoping for a, you know, pottery well, moment. Oh, um, ghost. Yeah, ghost moment. You're telling me it's 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 not that song. I don't care. Okay. What it's is the song? Unchained melody. It's a time goes by so slowly, and time can do so much. I think Careless Whisper fits better. No, Careless Whisper is a breakup song. Uh -huh. Unchained Melody is a get back together song. Okay. I just know it as the sexy saxophone song. Oh my god, my brother was a sax major and he used to do that. Like just go around <laughs> his college town just like shirtless playing sa playing Careless Whisper and like people would cheer for him. <laughs> Do you know who this is? This is Sergio Flores. Do you remember this YouTube video? Is... Are you referencing this YouTube no. video? It's no, like an OG. Maybe. It's what? like an OG YouTube uh, YouTube prank video. Was it uh, like a guy in a? I remember seeing something about like a guy in a mall wandering yeah, around. Yeah, exactly, playing exactly. That. Yeah. You okay. know who this is? This is Sergio Flores. You're gonna kick him out of your classroom? Okay. Uh, there's no sax solo in Unchained this... Melody. If if we can if we can. Luomi, well, I mean, let's cover Unchained Melody and get, like, Kurt Bear to drop a sax lick <laughs> on it. That would be just absolute <laughs> lovely. Oh, man. God, I thought we were just going to casually go down to the dungeon. We've made it all the way to level 9. That's another checkpoint. I know, right? It's the power of Luke. I am really... The Jack Daniel? Name dropping? Oh, oops. Mr. Daniel in the spirit realm. <laughs> what do you think? Want some or what goals? Uh, I'm curious as to what the goals are. No. <laughs> Good. Enough. Anyway. Time. Oh, oh my love, my darling. You've never seen Community, right? Probably my favorite Me? show. No. No. God, there's a incorrect. They take a not your favorite. What? What's my favorite show? Okay. I, know. I, was, I said no after you said probably my favorite show, and then I was oh, all yes. like, yes, I, I, I was let me tell you what you were talking about. Yes, I get it. I'm denying. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. Um. They take they, the pottery class. They take a pottery class, and the one rule, and uh, it's uh, what's his name? Um. Tony, I forget that actor's name. Uh, Buster in Arrested Development is the pottery teacher, and he's like, I have absolutely one rule in my pottery class. And he points to, uh, like, a picture of Swayze 
uh, like with like an X through him, like a crossed out X. And everyone goes, oh, and he goes, I had it made before he passed. It was in good taste at the time. <laughs> that aged poorly. What? Did you die? <laughs> yeah, I. we made it all the way down to, we're going to grow so many levels. Who's ready for these levels? Levels, 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 levels. 17. We're at least getting 18. 18. 19! Oh, jeez, are we gonna go to 20? Whoop. 20! Whoop! 20, baby! You're kidding me! You're kidding me! Hello, hello, hello! Woo! Woo! We're too good with Rowan! We made it all the way to level 23 in one run through a dungeon. That is hella. From 17 to 23? That's great. Okay, birthday party is a good good time to we got a cake it's my only child on their special day answer it hey it's jesse oh it's, it's absolutely no drip having jesse <gasps> what is this fit your honor i love them. What is this fit? Oh my, you look so good, Rowan. Rowan, you look so good. Oh, oh, oh. it's oh like ceremonial. Gosh. Oh my God, it's so cool. Yeah, if you were cutting horizontally maybe, but we're cutting slices, we'll try. Let's do this. Ooh, yeah. Oh, I'm so glad we did this. Oh, that's so... Oh, my God. Rowan, I am incredibly infatuated by you and your one eye. We get a present. Oh, we get a present. Ooh, a flower. I love it. Oh. They'll love you to the extent a flower can. Yes, yes, not like quite that. Unlike. Yes, I unironically believe in this, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Phoenix cap, this is good. This gives us a revive in the dungeon. Ooh, fun. Yeah. Holy energy. Happy birthday to Dream Daddy. A, pers mm -hmm. a person's name. <laughs> Not another game. Oh! <laughs> I'm fine. The bird is blushing. Oh my god! Sugoi desu. It looks like a Sailor Moon. Looks. Why is looks this like they're happening doing a Sailor to Moon me? Hand. All I'm right. I'm It'll a. be fine. I'm pressing A. Yeah, you're good. I'll send it to you. Oh. Pretty human. This was a great birthday. Oh, Thank you.
who have had had me had had me on many lives. Making quilts helped help me help to, me to get, get a sense of my own my own sense of finding my way, 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 my